1975. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week I am doing a 2017 favourites video. So as I mentioned towards the end of last year, um, I normally do kind of bi-monthly, is that how you say it? Bi-monthly favourite videos. So um, I do like January and February as one, uh, March and April, that kind of thing. I don't do them every month. Um, so really what I should have been doing now is a November and December favourites video. Um, I was going to do that as a blog post. I ended up getting in a little bit of a rut which has meant that that blog post hasn't come um, and it means that I'm also a little bit late doing this video. But I do really like doing yearly favourites videos because I feel like it's a challenge. It makes me sit down and kind of go, right Hannah, what can you remember that you actually liked kind of last year? Um, and I've written down a few things. I've just sat down like 10 minutes ago trying to think of things because I've got a little box next to me here and it doesn't have a lot of things in. Um, and I just kind of think, as I've said with other favourites in the past, there is no point racking your brain for favourites. If you don't think of it straight away, is it really a favourite? So I have a few things. I've got a few things to talk about. Um, as always, I would say this is probably going to end up being a short video, but it'll go on for a very long time. So we'll see how it goes. Um, I've got a couple of products to talk through um, and like brands and things. And then I've got other things like um, TV, stuff like that. So yes, I'm going to delve into my favourites. So I'll grab my box of things here. Um, so I'll do kind of beauty things first. So I'll do makeup, I guess. I don't really have much to talk about in the way of makeup because a lot of things are things that I have been using for a long time. So although I may not have mentioned them in a favourites on this channel, um, they have been a favourite for a long time. It's not specifically for 2017. So the first thing that I want to talk about, I have mentioned in a favourites before, um, is a MAC eyeshadow. Now this is Max Woodwinked. I bought this in kind of February, March time and I am so, so glad I bought this. I bought it because I'd heard a lot of YouTubers talking about it. I knew that it was um, like a favourite eyeshadow for a lot of YouTubers and I thought why not kind of go for it, splash out, treat yourself and I am so glad that I did because this is by far one of my favourite eyeshadows ever. So it's this gorgeous brown colour. So it's like a brownie colour with like a little bit of shimmer in it. It's just a little pot like the normal MAC eyeshadows are but it's just gorgeous. It's so wearable on a day-to-day -day basis. You can build it up. You can have it really subtle. It blends out really nicely. It works really well with other colours. Um, so you can put other colours in like your crease and things and it just all goes together so, so well. Um, and when I've been on like weekend trips or just like a night away, things like that, this is the only eyeshadow that I will take with me and I'll just keep it in my makeup bag. I think it's been in my makeup bag since I got it. Um, and I do use it if I kind of think, hmm, I'm going to put a little bit of eyeshadow on today. This is the eyeshadow that I put on, uh, without a doubt. Um, so this is by far one of my favourites. It does make me want to try other MAC eyeshadows to see what the pigmentation and the wearability is like on them. Um, but for the moment, this is hands down favourite. And then I've only really got one other makeup thing to talk about, I guess. Um, and it's a brand. Um, so I've been loving a lot of brands this year and um, I've gone to some of my trusty favourites so like Charlotte Tilbury I've loved for a while, I love her lipsticks um, by far, again one of my favourites but not limited just to a 2017 favourite. Um, so overall Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, amazing, like so so good. Um, I'm just looking over at my makeup counter to see if there's anything else that shouts at me. Um, but like Rimmel Foundation, um, all that kind of thing. Um, I've liked them for a long time, um, so I'm not going to include them in this, but I have a lot of kind of general favourites that keep coming back. One brand which I have been just amazed by this year is Beauty Pie. So I'm holding one little product up here. As you'll know if you've watched some of my previous videos, and especially my Beauty Pie makeup review, which I'll, I will link down below, um, I've got quite a bit of makeup um, by Beauty Pie now. I could do a full face of makeup using only Beauty Pie products. And I have to admit, there is only a couple of things that I've tried that I'm not, you know, completely won over by. Everything else that I've tried, I love. Foundation, mascara, um, like the blusher, this is the powder. Everything that I've tried, 
within reason there's a couple of things as i say that i weren't wasn't won over by um but i've loved the majority of it and beauty pie is such an affordable brand the like this is really minimalistic packaging but it works so well and um, i just think it looks really nice and clean and crisp and the payoff of the products is amazing too it's really really good it's oh i just love beauty pie um I can't wait to try a few more things from them this year. I want to get some of the skincare items and I want to try a couple of different um, colours or like variations of some of the makeup products. And I just, I'm really happy with this brand. I really, really like it. Um, and I'm very happy that I tried it out this year. Um, and hopefully we'll continue to try it out into 2018 as well. So sticking with kind of beauty-ish things, I'm going to go on to skincare. Now, as you all know, if you've watched some of my videos, again, from last year, I have suffered with really bad skin in 2017. Um, I had quite bad acne breakouts, um, so I've been dealing with that alongside that. I've also had the scarring and the pigmentation to deal with with that as well. I'm lucky because a lot of that was towards the back end of 2017, um, so I haven't had to deal with it for like an entire year. But because of that, I had to change up quite a few things in my skincare routine. Um, and certain things that I was using, things I needed to cut out, that kind of thing. So I've got a couple of like Hero products um, in my little box here um, that have really stood out to me while I've been kind of dealing with this throughout the year. So the first thing which I absolutely love is the Body Shop Chamomile um, Cleansing Butter or Balm, however you want to kind of put it down as. I love this stuff. I absolutely love it. I'm on my third pot, I believe, um, and I need to go and buy another one. It's such a good makeup remover. A little goes a long way. It feels really nourishing when you put it on your skin. It's super sensitive. So for my skin, um, I know that in this last year, it's got really sensitive because of the acne. Um, this does not kind of harm it. It doesn't sting. Um, I feel like it does get a bit of moisture back into my skin and it takes my makeup off really well. And I, I just absolutely love this. I don't think I'd ever use anything else to take my makeup off now. Not that I've tried this. Um, and yeah, I can't say anything bad about this product. I absolutely love it. Um, another thing which I believe I've mentioned before um, is the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Solution. Um, again, I love this product. I started using this when I started with my um, breakouts and it did work. But then alongside other things that I've got from like the doctors, things like that, this has just been a hero product for me. Um, I was using it on an evening um, before I got like prescription medication bits to put on my face. Um, and I use this every morning before I put my moisturiser and makeup and everything on. And I just, I absolutely love it. I think it's done wonders for my skin. It does help slightly with my pigmentation. I don't know if it's supposed to, but it does seem to work for me. Um, and it's such a cheap product. Like, nothing that I use is particularly expensive, um, but this, you can get it on ASOS, like, it's so readily available, and it's such a great product, I just, I absolutely love it, um, and I do really think this has done wonders for my skin. Got another product from the Body Shop here, which I got, again, towards the end of last year, but I really, really like it, um, and it's the Body Shop Vitamin E Refreshing Eye Cube. I don't know why it's called a cube when it's in this, but anyway, it's just like... Essentially, it's like a little roller ball, um, and what you do is you just kind of twist it up and then put it under your eyes. Um, I assume you can do it morning or evening. I tend to do it every morning, and yeah, it's just a really, really nice product. Um, I've got quite sensitive skin now, thanks to the breakouts, and it's really nice. Um, with a lot of the Body Shop products, I think they're really good for sensitive skin, and I don't know, I think it doesn't make my eyes puff it, it hydrates them. I've noticed that, I mean, I've got dark shadows and like slight bags from genetic things anyway and um, but I do feel like this helps and I feel like I'm keeping that area hydrated and nourished I guess without having to compromise with anything else so I'm not waking up with really puffy eyelids or anything like that I do think that this is really good and it's little it lasts for ages it's so easy to use it's not messy at all and yeah, I really like this. I feel like this is going to be something I repurchase um, this year. I'm always on the lookout for nice eye creams because of my, you know, sensitive eyes, things like that. And this is by far one that has stood out to me so far. And then the last thing I want to talk about with beauty is a little bit of a funny one. Um, and it's this, which is a roller. It's a little bit weird. Um, I thought it was like a slight derma rollery type thing. 
talked to one of the girls at work and she told me it was a lymphatic drainage roller. Um, basically, this is what it looks like. So it's like a prong with two balls on and the balls have spikes on. Now, there isn't any needles, anything like that. This is just plastic, basically, with little points on. They're not sharp, um, but you can feel it when you roll it over your skin. And I got this from work. Um, I thought I'd give it a go. I'd seen things like this kind of going around the internet and I just thought I'd give it a little go. It's not needly, so it wouldn't kind of cause any harm or anything to my skin. Did a bit of research on it and how to use it, things like that. And I thought, if anything else, it'll just help complexion. Um, but hopefully it will help with like the pigmentation scarring on my cheeks um, and keeping everything kind of tight and firm I guess. I know I'm young, I know I'm only 23 but these are things that I want to be starting to do now um, so that they don't impact me as much when I am older. Um, so I started using this in the morning as per the videos and things that I'd watched online um, and things that I'd read and I don't know if it's me just telling myself things but I do genuinely think that this has helped with my breakouts. Um, I don't know too much about like the science behind it, how much it would actually help with a breakout but I've kind of convinced myself that this is what has been helping clear my skin. So I still use it every single morning, um, just after I've done my moisturiser. It's now part of my routine and I'm putting it in my favourites because it takes two minutes. It takes no time at all. I do feel like it's been helping my skin and it's something that I don't mind doing, which I know sounds silly, um, but yeah, favourite. Don't know if it help anyone. I don't actually know if my logic behind it makes any sense at all i'm probably gonna have experts watching this or something going uh that's completely wrong but it's what i've told myself and i've told myself it works and i'm sticking with it and it's a favorite for that reason and then lastly within the thing of self-care i guess um is hair care and it's a shampoo and conditioner like range um and it's this one here now it's a little bit wet so if i keep moving them around it's because they're dripping on me um but it's this one now i love the um garnier ultimate blends products anyway i've used them for a long time i've used them since university i think they're really affordable um the products are really nice they always make my hair feel really kind of soft and they really nourish it um but there's so many different ranges within it now I tried a couple this year and towards the end of the year I started getting a really, really sensitive scalp. I kind of did some research on it and things and found out that it could be linked to my acne. So not only have I had to deal with that on my face, I've had to deal with all the repercussions of it, which has been a joy. Um, so I kind of thought, right, I'm already treating my face as being sensitive, so I now need to treat my scalp as being sensitive. So I got these ones and these are the Delicate Oat rice cream and oat milk and therefore sensitive scalp and fragile hair. Now I don't have fragile hair, I've got very thick healthy hair and um, I know that I'm not trying to say that my hair is fragile in any way but I did have a very sensitive scalp um, and so I thought I'd give these a go before going on to like higher end products or products that targeted um, my scalp like completely and um, so I thought I'd give these a go first just because they were a little bit cheaper and I love them. Um, it's cleared up my sensitive issues. Um, obviously, I know that I now have a sensitive scalp, so that's probably not going to go away for a little while. But the issues that I was having with it, um, this product range has cleared up completely. Um, it still makes my hair super soft, super nourished. I still feel like I'm getting a really good clean out of it. And I just really, really like them. Um, they smell good, feels good, and it's helping. So I have these two, I've got the shampoo and the conditioner and then I've also got the hair mask which I use every couple of weeks and um, because my hair is so thick and it's quite oily I don't like using hair masks as often but I have been using it um, here and there um, but yeah this range has been a lifesaver for me and um, I no longer have to walk around like shading my head and um, so yeah this is by far a favourite. I have only been using it for about two or three months but I could not do a favourites video without mentioning these products in this range um there's a couple of other things like they do heat protectant spray things like that which i am going to be trying out um just to see if it, again it helps any further um but yes this range anyway but this particular range in within the range does that make sense um i absolutely love okay so now on to all the other things that i just can talk about so with the things i've got like two more physical things to show you and then it's just blabbering on um so the first thing is books and specifically an author um and again this is an author that i've mentioned quite a few times um in 2017 and it's giovanna fletcher specifically the billy and me book 
slash two book series. I've mentioned this book quite a few times. I mentioned it in a favourite and I mentioned the um, second book to this in a favourites as well. I love Giovanna's writing style. I get really into the characters, really into the storyline. I feel connected to them and that is how I like to feel when I'm reading a book. I like to feel like I'm part of that story um, and get really into it. I love books that I don't want to put down and this was definitely one of them. I remember when I put this book down like when I'd finished it and I was messaging my friend about it and I was just like I, I, I can't not know what happens. I need to know what happens. Um, and I was so glad that she told me there was a second book but I read that and again at the end I was just like I need more. I need to keep reading about these people. Um, so yeah absolutely love 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 this book. But most of all I absolutely love Giovanna Fletcher. Her writing style, the way she um, grabs you as a reader and I've got a couple more of her books to be reading this year and I believe that she's writing um, a new novel as well. I've seen that on like her Instagram and things and I'm really excited about it. Um, so yeah, 2017, my favourite author by far, Giovanna Fletcher. If you haven't read this book and you love a good, what would I call this? It's a bit of a romance novel but with some other things in it as well. You just, you need to give it a read. Um, it's just so, so good. The other thing is a fashion favourite. I say fashion very loosely because it's a uh, I'm having a slob at home day and want to wear something comfy and it's sweatshirts. I've fallen in love with sweatshirts in 2017 which is really weird I am very aware. So basically a sweatshirt is I don't really know how you describe it it's not like a woolly jumper like this that I'm wearing now is a woolly jumper it's got like the knit material and I would wear this um kind of out and things um, sweatshirts are more for me anyway things that I would wear in the house so I'd wear them with leggings um, tracksuit bottoms they're basically just chill out comfy clothes for me I'd possibly wear them over pajamas that kind of thing I've got lots the one that I've got out is just a really random one it was just so that I could show you something which seems really silly um, but this is my one from forever 21 and it just says sorry not sorry in the top and it's just a really big cozy jumper and I love it. I love all my sweatshirts. My collection has tripled I'd say this year and I keep looking at them online and I'm like oh oh that one looks cozy. Yeah I could definitely wear that one. Um, which is really bad because I don't really wear them out of the house. Um, but yeah love sweatshirts. Really weird. I say fashion again very loosely but sweatshirts. I just love being comfy. Okay and then I've got my little book here that's got a couple of things written down that I want to very quickly chat about. So TV shows. I like to mention TV shows in favourites and I kind of just sat here and I was like what did I enjoy watching in 2017? What? There's two shows that I want to mention that have been specifically favourites this last year. Tattoo Fixers and SAS Who Dares Wins. Um, Tattoo Fixers, I love anything to do with tattoos. I think it's quite a funny show um, and I like seeing the transformation from a bad tattoo to a good tattoo. Um, I'm into tattoos anyway so I just really like watching that show. I love seeing the artists work um, and I like the backstories to things because we like having a bit of a giggle in this house. Um, so I know that that won't be the taste of quite a few people that watch these videos but that has been a favourite for me. Um, I do enjoy Tuesday nights when I get to sit down and watch that. And then the other one um, I mentioned was SAS um, Who Dares Wins. That is a military style um, TV show. Basically they take a group of um, civilians I guess, um, regular people, whatever you want to call them, um, and put them in SAS conditions to get them through like the selection process. It's so interesting. Um, it's interesting to see how it all works. Um, it's interesting to see how people cope with it and deal with it and push themselves to the limit. Um, and they put them in like different scenario type things. And I just I love it. I really really enjoy it. Me and my mum um, love sitting down and watching it and I do find it really intriguing. It's not one of those TV shows where I'll sit on my mobile um, for the majority of it. I will genuinely pay attention. Um, so for that reason it's a favourite. Music wise there's been a few that I've been listening to towards the back end of 2017 which I don't want to mention particularly. I want to kind of mention those in my next favourites video um, because I don't feel like they represent the entire year for me. So the one kind of group that I want to talk about from 2017 is Paramore. Now I've spoken about Paramore um, before, I know that they can be quite a niche band but they've kind of broken out of that a little bit 
um, this last year. Um, they came back from a bit of like a hiatus, uh, released a new album, they've toured um, and yeah, I love Paramore. I've always loved Paramore. Um, it's a band that has grown a lot so I think I've said this in a previous video. If you didn't like Paramore five years ago, give the new stuff a listen because it is very different. Um, people like me who have been fans for a while do still um, like the new stuff but there is people that I know will only like the old stuff or only like the new stuff so definitely do um, give them a listen if you haven't already. Um, I love Paramore, they're you know a massive part of me and growing up and getting through hard times. Um, they're a very big part of my personality um, and I, you know I like that. My friends know that I like Paramore, they know that I'm a little bit of a fangirl um, and yeah so last year I went to see them live once. I'm actually going this evening um, as I'm filming this video to see them live again and yeah I can't do a 2017 favourites video without mentioning Paramore and the new album and the fact that they're back in everybody's lives. Um, YouTube has been a big favourite for me which may seem again like a silly one to mention. Not only have I enjoyed being able to sit in this position every week and film something for you guys and have a chat about it um, and get your like feedback and responses that kind of thing. Um, I've also really enjoyed watching it this past year. So for me YouTube was my TV show. I think that's why I don't have that many TV shows to talk about because YouTube was a very big part of it for me. Um, I used to sit down for an hour in an evening and catch up on vlogs and like main channel videos and things. So not only have I enjoyed creating the content, I've really, really enjoyed that. Um, I've also enjoyed watching it and watching you guys and you know, the people that I've watched start out this year and grow as a YouTuber as well. Um, absolutely love it. So yeah, YouTube has been a very big part of my 2017 and I've loved every minute of it. Um, documenting things. So I am a very picture person. I love taking pictures. I love writing in like diaries um, and being able to look back on things. I feel like I did that a lot in 2017. Um, it may not show it on my Instagram, but I did take a lot of pictures for Instagram and to look back on um, that kind of thing. And I've really enjoyed doing it. Um, I've got really into photo albums and being able to take pictures which I can print out and put in them um, so that I have something to look back on. So documenting my life um, as I grow as a person, it sounds really cheesy and corny, but as I grow as a person, I've really been enjoying documenting all of that change. And then last but not least, um, driving. Again, a bit of a funny one um, to mention, but I've enjoyed driving this year. It's been a favourite of mine, which if any of my family watch this, they're going to be like, hold on, who is this? Is this Hannah? Basically, I got a new car um, in the middle of 2017 and it's made me enjoy getting out and about. I used to hate driving, I used to avoid it every chance that I could get which I know seems a bit silly because a lot of people love it um, but I didn't enjoy driving, it gave me such bad anxiety um, and I just I didn't like it at all. My new car has meant that I'm a lot more comfortable. I don't love driving but I enjoy it um, especially a lot more than I used to anyway. So I have you know really enjoyed being able to get out there get in my car and not kind of think, oh my god, 10 minutes and I'll be there, just get through the next 10 minutes. It's more of a, oh, what music can I listen to? I wonder where I'm going to drive, I wonder what I'm going to see. Um, and I've still got a long way to go, I don't love it as I said, but yeah, I have been enjoying driving in 2017, which is a nice change. And that is everything that I could think of to list to you guys that I have enjoyed in 2017. I hope that you guys have picked up on some of these things um, and you might try out a couple of them. Um, like the cleansers or like beauty pie something like that but yeah that is what I was loving in 2017 and um, I've decided that for 2018 if I love a product I'm writing it down on my phone like it needs to go in a list on here so that when it gets to like December January I know what I need to be pulling out and telling you guys about because I really need to be doing that <laughs> so thank you guys very much for watching this week um, I hope you have a lovely weekend. Um, let me know down in the comments uh, what you absolutely loved in 2017. I love hearing about what people's favourites are. Um, and yeah, that's everything for this week. I'll see you next week with another video. Bye!